What's up, guys? I'm here Come in White Plains. Me. And yes, that is because it is extremely white. No, I'm just kidding. There's actually a huge Hispanic population, I think, here. But that's White Plains. And I'm seeing Hades Town with the Lilith White tonight. I got here early, got on the train. Uh, made sure that I knew what I was doing because I never used the train before. I found out how to use it, and now I'm just waiting. Super excited. Well, this is unfortunate. I thought I was going to the mall. Turns out I'm in some prison. I mean, it literally looks like a prison. Like, look, it's literally a prison. I mean, it's not a prison, literally, but it looks like one. finished yet, but when it's done, and when I sing it, spring will come again. Come again? Anyways, I missed the first half of Hades Town, Hades Town, because uh, your boy is new to New York City, so I got off of Grand Central. Didn't know where I was, went in the opposite direction, was walking for over an hour. Finally got an Uber, which I didn't want to do. And uh, I made it though. I saw the last half back one, and I've seen it twice, so it was fun. I just wanted to see the little less white. It was incredible, it's amazing. Act 2 was great. And then I met Richard Ridge, guys. This guy, Richard Ridge of Broadway World fame. I want him to say, this is Richard Ridge, and you're watching Andre's of Ridge 2.0. But I was looking for directions for Grand Central, so my focus wasn't on the ball. But I'm coming back tomorrow, so hopefully I meet some more famous people. But that was so awesome. I've been watching like, so this like this little. Watching Richard Ridge, and I finally got to meet him, and it was really cool, and he was super nice. What else you uh, but yeah, that's basically, that's basically my journey. Fountain over there, very beautiful. You guys, I, I went the wrong way. I thought this was right, but it's left. That's right, that, that's right, not, that's, that's left. I made that mistake, I actually just did that. I actually just did that. Wait for me, I'm coming to the train station. Today, Hades Town review. Um, so if you've seen the vlog, you know that it was a hectic journey to get to the uh, underworld. Um, I got lost, um, but you know. But this part of the video, we're talking about the review of it. Obviously, I did not see all of Act One. I only saw the last couple songs and then Act Two. But what I did see, I really enjoyed. There weren't many differences to Patrick's performance because <clears throat> I saw him back in uh, 2019. But Eva's performance was a lot different. Um, and so is Weaves, um, because when we got to um, Wait For Me, I mean, listen, I love Weave Coney, but um, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think he's great as um, Orpheus, because in 2019 when I saw him, his performance was a lot more reserved, and but still not. And here, I just felt like there were people laughing during Wait For Me. That, that's what I'll say at my performance, uh, because I think Weave was hamming it up way too hard and it just came off as inauthentic and just not good, if I'm being brutally honest. And I hate that because I love Leaf Coney, but I think he should retire the liar. I'm making good, this is awesome. Um, Why We Build the Wall, very powerful song. Uh, and then we had Our Lady of the Underground. And Persephone was played by uh, Julie Blackman, who um, was such, this was a, the most different um, Persephone I've ever seen. I saw the tour and I saw it with Amber Gray. This one was a lot more like, like, I guess you could call sleazy or a lot more like energetic, kind of over the top, but to a degree that was a lot more like youthful. And I really loved it. Um, it just brought like a new energy to Our Lady of the Underground. And Lilith White was fantastic. That's why I saw this show again. This is my third time seeing Hades Town. And Lilith White's vocals, her acting. It's worth the price again. It's, it's worth seeing it again for, for that performance alone. Um, way down, I hate it, me prize. Flowers, oh my god. This song blew me away. Because I, I saw Eva do it. I saw the tour. The way Eva did it was a lot more, like, um, sad and, like, dramatic than she did it when I saw it back in 2019. And she, like, screamed some of the lines, like, Sophia and Carusa style. And she wasn't even in tune with the uh, band, but it, it it wasn't like bad in that way. It was just like that's how it came, that's how it sounded, or that's how it's that that's what the sound was like. But I, it was like I was hypnotized <clears throat> by the performance. And when it was ended, I was like this. Oh whoa! Like like that was the first time in theater history for me that I've witnessed a performance that I've been hypnotized by. Like it made me really think. Wow, why did Eva not win? The Tony. I don't remember who won that year, but like, wow. Like, it was a complete 180 on the character. And then we had, um, <clears throat> Papers. And Patrick Page messed up 
very noticeably twice. Um, I guess if you don't know the show, you wouldn't notice, but he did mess up. Shit, Lee Prize was so powerful, and so was Epic 3. Um, I love that whole section and when Persephone and um, Hades dance. Very beautiful. Um, word to the wa uh, Promises, and then Wait For Me, Doubt Comes In, Road To Hell. All great songs, um, very well acted, and that's just when we really got to see um, Lilith White like really shine from a dramatic standpoint. And her vocals at the end of um, Word To Hell was like, whoa, like, wow. And I was so upset because Hermes' big numbers are Word To Hell and um, Way Down Hades Town. But yeah, that's my review of Hades Town, just as amazing as the third time. Bummed that I didn't get to see the first half of Act 1, but I've already seen it twice, and I was still able to get really good seats and enjoy Lilith White and the performance. And yeah, that's the video. Make sure to like, sub, and comment, and go see Hadestown because it is so worth going to see it again.